Hey, it's Jolene, Ride the Wind e-bikes. So let's have a bit of a vlog here about these enclosed mobility scooters. So there's a Nexa and there's the, um, the cruises. So it, it is a big discussion and I wanna have like a open discussion about it. It's like, what are the rules for these? Where are they allowed to be? Where are they not allowed to be? So here's the thing. There are no laws, bylaws, or Transport Canada that says that these cannot be on the road. They are imported as uh, an enclosed mobility scooter. That is the documentation. Um, and this goes through imports, right? So these are inspected and they're allowed through. And also these have been around from Ecolo um, since 2018. These have been everywhere. So there's, not, there's a lot of people that praise these. Um, these give absolute freedom to people absolute freedom but there's a lot of negativity there's a lot of these shouldn't be on the fucking road this and that sorry for the language but it's getting to be a little irritating because it's a pushback against people having the right for transportation where my my opinion is is that everybody needs to be respectful bicycles on the road motorcycles electric motorcycles electric bicycles it, it that is the basis to sharing our roads pedestrians you know you always get the oh look at the cyclists oh look at the pedestrians you know we all just need to be accepting of each other and be respectful there is no reason why this can't go on the side of the road um, where the e-bikes would go remember as the bicycle laws and a, bi a bicycle is entitled to one meter of the road that's the law now i know this isn't an electric bicycle or a bicycle but this takes up less than one meter of the road. And so these are limited to 30 kilometers an hour. And that is, that is a rule for mobility scooters. Um, but there is no actual law that says that these can't be um, on the road. So that's where it is. There's no law that says they can, but there's no bylaw or anything that says they can't. So until then, these you will start seeing more of and the people that drive them, I dare you to not be able to smile when you see one of these roll by at a respectful on the side of the road. You see my video of where they should or where we recommend being driven because there's nothing law. I know people like to see something in black and white, but at this point there is no black and white on these, but there is no black and white that says there's no black and white saying they can and there's none that's saying they can't. So until then, people are gonna start living a better, happier lives where they're driving something that's good for the environment and easy on their affordability because they're not forced to drive a vehicle because we all don't have to drive a vehicle. We can drive whatever we want. If people drive, choose to drive this, for example, as I'm carrying on a little bit, multiple of my customers have had strokes and their license has been taken away from them. And so they, they are more than capable to drive a vehicle, but the the, the, it was revoked from them. They're gonna drive one of these. They're going to feel like a free person. Their mental health is gonna be better because they're gonna be able to go for, here to there wherever they want and not be forced to take a Uber or anything like that, that it's very expensive. So again, naysayers, negative people, try stopping somebody in one of these that's had a stroke and you tell them to their face that these should be off the road. Try it. Or we can just keep writing stuff on, on um, you know, comments on online. All I'm saying is be open and understand that these things, um, these things are life-changing for people.